In my experience, what makes roast battles bad is when people uh, think it's a roast battle. I can just go in and say mean stuff and don't prepare anything. That makes um, sense. I think that's, some, that's sometimes a mistake that uh, people make is, um, well, it's a roast. I can say anything I want and forget that you also have to be funny. Let me give you a little bit of background here. This guy, Def Noodles, he basically used to be a comedian back in the day. And then during the yeah. pandemic he started this really popular sort of like drama channel. They built this like big following and now they're like trying to get back into comedy. And he said he built like the comedy club of his dreams in his office. Okay. And, yeah. Okay. So Sounds that's like a good idea on paper. I don't know. I don't, I don't really, I don't know. Oh, somebody Sing here. Sorry, somebody here is saying that um, uh, Def was never really a comic. He did a couple open mics seven years ago, and they're saying four so, open mics. So yeah, I so I know like we all just uh, is he is it his dead name to say Dennis Fetosa? I know Den. I met Dennis. Oh doing oh wait, hold on a second. You know him? I don't know him well. I was like at a couple of open mics that he was at. He did a fight club way back in the day. Oh, um, interesting. I barely remember any of it. I don't remember it being that good. Okay. I remember beating him. He did fight club once, like a nice enough guy. But he, I mean, even back then, he had the energy of a guy who would be a YouTuber more than a comedian, I guess. Oh, my God. Really? So you're saying that he never really had like a comedian energy about him? Not to me, but he was also really new. A lot of new people don't have much because they're just, they don't know who they are yet. He definitely had kind of like young, pretty boy, like oh, nice shit. guy. <laughs> nice guy, like personable. So I could see him like doing something in entertainment. Like it's not shocking to me that he has like a popular YouTube channel. Yeah, but at the time you were like, this guy, he doesn't seem like a comedian right now. It was when you met him. Yeah, it's not like a comic the way like, like he 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 hadn't been heard enough. This is the comedy club in his apartment, I assume. Yeah. Okay. So now we're seeing the comedy club. So another thing you got to realize about him is he said that this is his dream comedy club. So he yeah. has been talking for months and months about how he's building his dream comedy club. Does this look yeah. like a comedy club to you? Um, not quite. Although, to be fair, I've seen a lot of really shitty comedy clubs. When you're seeing this, when it says comedy club, what what do you think they're doing wrong here? What could they be doing better? If there's a point where he mentions, like, where it's ironically calling this his dream comedy club, I can get into it. Half man, half drugs, ask the clubs, bad boy, ask what's up, after bucks, crush crews after us, no games, we ain't laughing much. You have to go back. Who's after us, no games, we ain't laughing much, nothing but big things. Now we got the big light to the big entrance and the people aren't clapping this time. Nobody, by the way, that's actually such a good point. I didn't even see the thing is, this is so dense. This is like a Kubrick film where there's like so yeah. much going on at the same time. Uh, all right, Miranda, you ready? Uh, is, is, yeah, you and me? is you and me? I'm like the meanest guy on the internet Wait, right now. People roasting? hate me. We're roasting. Oh! Wait, did she, is she saying she didn't know they were going to be roasting? <laughs> yeah, I think they did not know they were going to be roasting. Not only does he not have any idea what's going on in the show and he's running it, but no one else involved seems to know what's going on in the show either. You wearing that dare shirt because you're like, uh, I dare you to run away from me. <laughs> okay, that's the first joke right there. I feel like so that one, really, yeah. it's, it's like a bad roast. I feel like that could almost pass. Almost. That could have, I think it might have passed a little more if it wasn't so clear that uh, she did not know she was going to be roasting and just, she she didn't say it with the idea of like, this will be a good joke. She said it with what she's thinking is, fuck, I guess I have to roast now. Here's the first thing I could think of. It's probably not that good. <laughs> Carrot Top called, he wants his look back. That delivery, there's something about that delivery, the way he like yeah. finishes that is so off-putting. He just, he says it so quickly. I almost, it's just like, it was over. I'm waiting for like a setup and all. And it's just, Carrot Top called, he wants his look back. 
dot like again yeah he's i can tell he's nervous he's not thinking this is a great joke that i'm gonna say and it's um yeah not off to a great start here he came out not even knowing how to enter his own dream comedy club so his i don't think he had confidence from the beginning i think he before he even said that joke he's already in his head thinking this is a disaster Oh my god. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Pete. Oh, look, did you see that little move he just did there? He did like a little nervous squat. <laughs> look at this. Is that like a curtsy? Yeah, look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Dude, what is up with that yeah. squat right there? He spent all this time editing the video of all of his haters saying he's not funny, and then he comes <laughs> out and he, he knows that he's now uh, trying to prove them wrong, and he isn't because he isn't being funny. It's. It's the disaster of all disasters. Somebody in the chat was saying earlier, they were like, CJ, you didn't do a good enough job like explaining all the horrible stuff he did. I actually, I think that's for the better because you're kind of like watching this with fresh eyes. You look really? like Emo Shaggy. Emo Shaggy. <laughs> that Emo Shaggy. Okay, and, and it's like... The not, not bad for, I didn't know I was going to be roasting and I'm all of a sudden up here and have to say something about you. Wait, and who do you think is winning so far? That's another interesting question. Um, I would say her. We should say she's losing less. She's losing less. Okay. Yeah. You're like my cousin if you were a girl. You're like my cousin if she were a girl. Yeah, what is, do you think? <laughs> Even if he just said, um, you're, you're like my cousin with Down syndrome if she were, if he were a girl, then there's like something, <laughs> we don't know your cousin, what is this? <laughs> I think it may be just you're bombing and not, and again, like we said, not only is he bombing, he's bombing after this is his debut ret or return to comedy, everyone says he sucks, so he's bombing after putting so much pressure on himself to not bomb. And I think he's just saying words. He's just progressively making less and less sense because he's progressively less and less trying, just <laughs> removing himself, just not even thinking about what's happening. You know what's funny? He so more people were watching uh, this guy Salvo Pancakes who hates Deaf Noodles. They're watching him yeah. watch the stream. There are more people watching that than the actual stream. Uh. <laughs> that is rough. That, uh, that's always rough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bobbing so bad, and I don't give a fuck. Oh, and then he just oh, goes out and says it. The worst thing that you could possibly say, he just says. We all know he gives a fuck. Hey, bro, come on. We in it together, doggy. I mean, this is like when your friend is having a bad mushroom trip, and mm. you, you, you sit him in the corner, and you're like, oh, come on, man. Everything's going to be okay. I love this girl. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like her too. She's cool. Take a guess. too. That's what's up. Yeah. You want to make out? No. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> yeah, your your beard is graying. I know. I'm. Old. Oh, that's kind of a good line right there. That's and, just kind of uh, mean. There was, uh, there was a stutter there that he. It may have actually hurt him. He is 38 years old, but yeah. apparently he had been lying for like four years and telling everybody he's like 28 years old. My age. I was born March 10th, 1995. So essentially uh, there's a 10 year difference no. on what's shown here and what my actual age is. So yeah, I remembered him being about my age. Maybe I think he had said he was like 26 when I met him. Uh, I don't know how long we're going to keep going. Cause you're going to win regardless. Okay. So that now he's like kind of, He's putting up the he's putting up the white flag right here. You just that's when you're you're so defensive. You're like you're trying to get to the point where afterwards you can say, well, of course she. I knew she was gonna win. I even said it when I was up there. Oh wait, wait. People are saying that his mom was in the crowd, is what people are saying right here. Oh, that is deaf embarrassing. There's, I mean, you're literally not only witnessing your son's failure of like building a comedy space, but you're also witnessing yeah. him failing to perform comedy. So it's like, there's so yeah. many well, things happening. If this went really well, it would have been a good move. What are you juggling now? You're, you're trying to, what is this? This is a circus. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
You just you want to win. It's over. There's no way I can you, win. Uh, That's the whole thing. <laughs> That's the whole thing. I'm not supposed to win. You're you, supposed to win. You okay, so now this is where we're getting uh, into the cope. I'm not supposed to win. You're supposed to win. Like, what do you think yeah. all this? What do you think all this is? This is like the stages of recovery or some shit where like he's like acceptance and uh, oh, I was supposed to bomb. I was supposed to be bad. That was the whole thing. No, he wanted to do well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's so obvious that he wanted to do well. If you just watch the fucking build up to this, that that's all the evidence yeah. that I really need. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> I love that right there. Have they, Again, have that, they done? Have they done? Is there like five jokes tip for tat? Is somebody counting? Is there? That's the thing. No, he was supposed to be the host, but now he's yeah. doing this right now. So I he, mean, there certainly haven't been five jokes, but I think five things have been said by each person. Yeah, there's been like some type of a back and forth. I mean, some of it yeah. was just banter, but I don't know. Yeah. I was gonna fucking win money. You're just now telling me this. So hold up. Hold this up. Hey, Miranda, wake up. Oh my God. I see that part was kind of sketch too, where she's like, "You didn't even tell me that there was money involved. I would have." She said, "I would have went a lot harder." But I think what she really means there is, I would have tried. For somebody in her position, she didn't do terrible. Okay, all right. And how would you rate Def Noodle's performance through all this? Uh, he did terrible. Dude, this looks like this was filmed on like an Amazon garage camera is what it looks yeah, like I'm looking at right here. If you were to talk to anybody about you're going to a comedy show, what are the things you should have for a comedy show? Anyone's checklist, he hasn't got checked off any of the boxes. Well, dude, yeah. thank you so much for your fucking analysis on this. I think you've been <laughs> really helpful. I mean, I think it's important for people to hear some like from somebody that like actually is involved with all the roast battle shit. It's like a yeah. week to week thing for you. So you you have yeah. You're always thinking about how what, to improve this stuff. Essentially, what he's trying to do, the putting on a show where there's a roast battle, is what I've done every week for seven years. And uh, <laughs> granted, I will say, I'm not, I was not always good at it. I'm still, some people would argue I'm still not. I would argue I've never been this bad, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never been as bad as Def Noodles. Boy, ass was up after bucks. Crush crews after us. No games, we ain't laughing much. 